I'm uh, Morris Hoffman, CEO and co-founder of Anki, and um, we came here from San Francisco. So Anki Drive is a video game in the real world. So what I mean by that is it's a racing game, but all the cars are robotic cars. And so you can control them, but whichever ones you don't control, they come to life and they compete against you. They know exactly where they are, they can follow you, they can stalk you. And all the cars have different types of weapons and special abilities which you can use in order to uh, defeat your opponents. So it was a great ecosystem to start on. So we're using mobile devices as the brains behind the experience. And so you use it not just as the controls, but all the cars that are driving themselves, they're being thought for by the phone. Um, and so uh, iOS had, is a really great ecosystem to start on because they have a consistency among all their devices. Uh, and there's also a prevalence of uh, family devices like iPads, iPod Touches that made this a really great platform to begin with. So we were in uh, graduate school uh, studying robotics at Carnegie Mellon and we decided we wanted to make, um, we wanted to use robotics and artificial intelligence to make consumer applications of these technologies and to reinvent categories of products. And we decided to start with entertainment. It seemed like this great opportunity to bridge these worlds of toys and video games in a way that nobody had done before. So we started working on uh, a racing game because that was such a familiar genre for almost everybody and a great way to demonstrate the way you can use these technologies in a really fun way. Right now it's four cars, and so you can have four people that each control a car, or you could play against three robotic cars using just one device and have the other three that compete against you by themselves. So we've, uh, we've hosted some tournaments in uh, various, uh, various uh, Apple Store events and so forth, and then we've had a few weeks pop up around the United States where uh, people will host their own tournaments, but we're working on making something that's more uh, standardized and generalizable because I think it, uh, it brings out the competitive side of everybody. So we're definitely looking at other platforms. Uh, right now we're focused on iOS, but for us, uh, the mobile phones are in some sense, uh, you know, we, that, that could be replaced with any other type of mobile device, or even a console or a computer. Um, and so we're thinking about what are the most, most uh, logical choices in order to really hit on the broadest demographic. And so we're thinking about that based on the Uh, so everything in the app, uh, you upgrade your characters um, with new abilities and new weapons and, new, and, and upgrades, but um, you use points that you earn while playing. So there's no in-app purchases right now. Um, we're, uh, uh, all the software's completely free, we're continually upgrading it, which expands the experience over time, even no matter when you bought the site. So the game right now is superior to what it was six months ago, and in this fall will be superior to what it is today, and everybody will have the latest experience. Um, and so the base set comes with two characters, the track and all the accessories that you need, and that costs 179 pounds. Um, and then expansion characters um, each cost 59 pounds. It's, it's been very healthy, so we've been very happy with sales. We've been only on sale in the US and Canada for now, but we've been very happy with how things have been going, and, uh, and now we're uh, excited to uh, branch out to the UK. That's what we've been really happy with. It's actually been for everybody. So we definitely have spikes where kids absolutely love it. They go, they just go nuts for it. Where you have you know, kids as young as four and five years old can play this, but they can easily have fun with their you know, seven, 10, 13, you know, 15 year old uh, siblings. But then we have the parents who love it because they can enjoy it on a completely different level. Geek dads definitely get attracted to it. And then we have six year olds with no kids who love to kind of hang out and play and we get nostalgic for their old uh, slot car days uh, as well. So it's got this um, breadth of appeal that, uh, that we're very happy about um, because it's, uh, you know, our theme has always been that everybody likes physical things and, um, and there's an attachment in the physical world that you can't replicate on the screen. But it's just that the gameplay has never come up. But now, because we control every aspect of gameplay and software, we can really bridge that gap and make it fun for adults as well as kids. In general, these technologies are, are incredible.
incredibly uh, robust and generalizable. So the, the basic abilities of robotics to have physical things that understand where they are, to move precisely, to communicate, to use AI and path planning to figure out what to do, that's something that starts with entertainment, but it extends to everything. Um, whether it's uh, something navigating around a home, on a highway, in healthcare, in sports, or on a racetrack with these cars, it's a lot of the same types of problems. Um, and the common theme is that these mobile devices that are becoming more and more common and more capable become these uh, kind of conductors in these brains behind these real world experiences that get more and more sophisticated. It's, uh, it's very diverse, so we have a long, long roadmap for drive. We're this is going to be an amazing ecosystem. Um, we're already working on our next product behind the scenes, which uh, I can't share anything about yet, but it's going to be incredible. Um, and, uh, and at the same time, long term, we're thinking about the company as not just a toy or video or, or entertainment company, but as a robotics and artificial intelligence company where products like Drive are a way for us to develop these core technologies that make it possible to work on more and more ambitious and complicated things in future products that we can ever work on as a first product.